welcome or welcome back. Today I wanted to have a chat about unemployment. Uh, it was brought to my attention from a friend that this may be a good topic, especially because um, so many people are dealing with it right now. Um, just to kind of go over what is unemployment. For those of you who don't know what unemployment is, unemployment is an insurance. Uh, as you work, you pay into unemployment insurance and then if for whatever reason you lose your job, either through being fired or laid off, um, you can collect on that unemployment. Right now, with everyone's uh, hours being cut, people losing their job, the requirements for what qualifies for unemployment have changed. So if you're not sure if you would collect unemployment, like let's say you're normally a full-time 40-hour week employee, and now you're working anywhere between 5 and 20 hours a week, you can apply for and most likely collect unemployment. I say most likely because it varies state to state and the rules have changed because of the plague. So uh, because of that, I encourage anyone who may lose their, may have lost their job or their hours were drastically cut to go on and apply for the unemployment insurance. You can apply for unemployment on the website, through the website, or you can apply for unemployment um, over the phone. Uh, I'm hearing right now that some people are waiting eight, nine hours to get through or to hear back or to be able to access the website. So because of that, please don't feel discouraged. Um, in order to collect your benefits as soon as possible, it's really important as soon as you lose your job or your hours are cut to apply because the faster you apply, and the faster they can process your application and get you the money that you not only need, but deserve. Because again, that's how this works. You work, you pay into it, you can collect on it. Um, and what I really wanted to focus on was more about the feelings surrounding uh, having to go on unemployment. Um, for some people, it's not that big of a deal. You apply, you get it, you get your job back, you get a different job, you move on. It's totally fine. That's great. Um, I know in the 80s, my dad was laid off all the time. Uh, it really, to him, he always made it seem like it wasn't a big deal. I mean, the money aspect was there. He hustled for money uh, in addition to unemployment, that type of thing. But I mean, the actual feelings surrounding being unemployed, he was fine with it because he knew that's how aerospace worked. My dad uh, worked for pretty much every aerospace company in Southern California um, in the 80s, uh, and they would do contracts. So your contract, you worked for six months, a year, whatever, contract was up, they'd lay you off for a little bit, call you back when they got another contract. Um, and because of that, uh, I remember always feeling unsettled. And I know that I was just a kid and my parents did everything they could to sort of protect my sister and I from having any worries. But you're a kid, you internalize things the way you internalize them. And so I know for me, part of what made me choose teaching was the stability involved with being a teacher because I grew up watching my dad go from working 12 hour days, seven days a week to nothing uh, to getting unemployment and hustling for construction jobs. So that that sort of affected me. Um, when I was in my uh, late teens, early 20s, I don't really remember, it's been a minute, um, the company I was working for very suddenly went bust and laid off over half their workforce. Um, this wasn't even a company I was particularly fond of working for. As a matter of fact, I I hated that job. Um, that's where I learned that cubicle work, not for me. Uh, I would work eight hours a day in a cubicle, staring out into a parking lot, listening to Howard Stern, only highlight of the day, I must say, uh, typing in part numbers. No, it was awful. Um, but I didn't make the decision to leave that job. The decision was taken away from me. The decision to leave that job was ripped away from me in a meeting one morning when they called us in and said, oh, hey, by the way, grab your stuff and get out because you don't work here anymore. We're laying you off. 
And I immediately felt like a giant loser. Um, there's no rationale for that feeling. There's no, uh, there was no reason to feel that way at all because I didn't do anything. I just showed up for work that day and the company went bankrupt and said, toodaloo, we don't need you anymore. But that didn't make the feeling go away. It didn't make me feel any less bad about suddenly losing my job. Um, and so I, I needed to, I needed to realize you know, what was making me feel that way? Well, number one, I grew up in a house with uh, very middle America, uh, very strong work ethic. My parents are from the Midwest. We're workers. That's what we do. Uh, when I turned 16, my parents were like, congratulations, we're going to go get a job. Um, and a month later, I had a job and I've worked ever since. I've been working since I was 16 and I'm 42. So very strong work ethic. Um, and so I had to realize that my identity was wrapped up in having a job. Um, and I had to realize, uh, you know, I had to look at what were the, what were the learning experiences? Well, I learned that no matter how good of a worker you are, sometimes circumstance will make you not have a job anymore, uh, through no fault of your own. I learned how to apply for unemployment. Um, I learned how to update a resume. I learned how to, um, kind of, you know, put myself back together and I learned what I didn't want to do. I didn't want to get another job doing data entry. Uh, it, no, thank you. No, thank you. Because it was horrible. So if you're in this position, if you're suddenly laid off or your hours are drastically, drastically reduced and you're finding yourself dejected, um, that's okay. It's okay to feel that way. It's it's okay to say, what now? Um, if your hours were just cut, okay. Focus on when you're at work, be at work. Contact unemployment, get some money, boost up your pay. Use this as an opportunity to maybe take classes, maybe uh, advance your career in some way, maybe... Um, Focus on what you like and don't like. Uh, if your job was lost entirely, again, file for unemployment and use this time to focus on yourself. I mean, if, if this epidemic is teaching me anything, it's teaching me to look at what I value and it's teaching me to look at what I want and what I want to do. And, and that's a, a positive learning and growth experience to take from this. Um, just know that this, this didn't happen because of you. You didn't lose your job because of you. You lost your job because of an economic nightmare. And rely on the unemployment that's there so your bills can get paid your food can, can be on your table. Your pets and children can be taken care of. Learn from it, grow from it, and leave the guilt at the door. That's it for me today. I hope you all have a great day. Stay safe, stay sane, stay informed, do good things, and be good people. Have a great rest of your day.